Hi everyone, it's Carolyn from True Crime Chat with Mommy Ramblings. I have an update in the Stephanie Hollingsworth case. She is the mother of three that went missing on September 25th. There is an update because an SUV with the license plate of the SUV that she was last driving was found submerged in a retention pond and there is a body inside. So let's take a look at what's going on here and we'll look at the latest developments. So earlier today, Stephanie Hollingsworth's family and friends were gathered at Lake Nona near Storytime Drive and Dowden Road. And shortly after that, a tow truck arrived with a flatbed on, on the scene. An SUV with a body inside was found submerged in a retention pond and that SUV was seen by drone pilots that were assisting with the search. Detectives later confirmed the license plate on the SUV found matches the license plate on the SUV that Stephanie Hollingsworth was last seen driving. Now Stephanie has been missing again since September 25th. And she was last seen inside of a Walmart on South Goldenrod Road the day that she disappeared. Stephanie was driving a 2000 silver Chevy Tahoe with Florida license plate tag of Y50XUR. The family has been searching for Stephanie since she left without any explanation in that SUV, leaving behind her phone and other belongings. Scott Hollingsworth, Stephanie's husband, was officially cleared as a suspect by the Belle Isle Police Department in a statement that they issued last Thursday. Now, Scott said that he assumed his wife was out running errands the day she disappeared, but he got gut worried when she did not return by evening. He eventually came across a backpack full of her belongings, which led him to believe that she may have checked herself into a mental health facility. Stephanie has struggled with alcoholism, but the family said she recently expressed plans to seek help for herself. Stephanie was very active in the women's ministry. Many young girls looked up to her. She lived a very active life. She recently became a certified yoga instructor and was looking forward to her new venture and path to healing. Now her husband, Scott, also 50, said she was a loving wife and devoted mother to the couple's three children, ages 15, 17, and 21 and that Stephanie has been home for the last 15 years to raise the children. The youngest two kids were in school the day she went missing, but her oldest son was home from college and studying remotely. He wasn't certain of the time exactly that his mother left the house, but he thinks it was around 1 to 1.30 p.m. The surveillance footage from Walmart shows that Stephanie bought a bottle of vodka and she was also seen at a Bank of America withdrawing $20 from the ATM there. And that was the last time she was seen. So now we wait for an update on that body found in the SUV to see if it is Stephanie Hollingsworth. But this is, you know, the newest information I, has, I have up to this video. And when there is more information, I will update. And if something comes through when we're live tonight, I will update then. But thanks for watching and yeah, sad update to this. Prayers for her family and friends. Take care, guys. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.